All right, I am having so much fun with this little KF plane F-35 beginner park jet. I'm going to put it in high rate mode. There we go. And launch it. And let's see if we can do some close proximity flying before the wind picks up. All right, launching. Launched it in high rate mode. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that turd. Look how slowly. Look how slowly. Is that awesome or is that awesome? Can't quite do a return to target maneuver with it, but man, that is fun. Right now it's headed into the wind, turning downwind. Look at that gyro. Look at that gyro fight that. Keep it near. Look how sharp of a turn in a high rate mode. Is that awesome or is that awesome? Definitely my favorite beginner park jet. Look at that. Can you believe that? That is too cool. <laughs> you can have so much fun with this little thing. Look at that. That is uh, is an exceptional flying little beginner park jet. That gyro is awesome. Coming into the wind. Look how slow. It is just fighting. Fighting to keep those wings level when I'm slowing down like that. Look at that. That is awesome. And it helps to give it a little bit of throttle in the turns. Give it a little power to push. Isn't that cool? You gotta like this. You gotta like this little thing. Look at that. Definitely, definitely my new favorite beginner park jet. Return to target. Return to target. Whoa, that was pretty good. Just the right amount of stick. Right, right amount of up elevator. The right amount of throttle. Just practice, practice, practice with it. And, th and this is in a two to four mile per hour wind. Just an awesome little beginner park jet. Look at that. Is that cool or what? And I love the look of that airframe. That is a really, really nice looking airframe. Oh, got somebody coming through. Good thing I got it in high rate mode. <laughs> that was a sharp turn. Watch this. Look at this. Look at this. Can you believe that? This is such a Fun little beginner park jet. I am having a blast with this. Look at that. 
Can you believe how slow? Now look at the turns. Look at that. It just about spins around on a dime. Oh man, this this is such a excellent little beginner park yet. And I until I received this plane to review, I'd never heard a KF plane. Man, they did an exceptional job on this. Exceptional job. Look at that. <laughs> Uh, that this the way this thing turns and the, and the slow flight capability it, it will give a micro bush plane a run for its money i'm telling you look at that a little bit of high alpha and that thing and i'm getting a little wing wag there so just on the just on the verge of stalling and there's my timer but you saw the you saw the gyro keep that thing in the air that was just awesome all right, let's see if we can bring it in for a landing. How about that? That is so cool, guys. I am having so much fun with this plane. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my last battery pack in it and do some more of this close proximity flying because that is so darn cool. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, flight number two close proximity slow flight on the KF plane F-35 beginner park jet an exceptional flying little beginner park jet all right so let's put it in high rate all right and gas her up 80 percent and launch and there she goes make a tight turn here bring her in slow Gas it up, make another tight turn. That is just so cool. Look at that. I pulled the throttle way back there. You saw it drop its nose, right? So if you're going too slow with too little throttle, the gyro will dip the nose a little bit to pick up speed keep it in the air so be aware of that because I had almost zero throttle there but that is too cool I wish the wind would pick up just a little bit kind of died down since the first flight but look at that that is that is so cool Awesome. <laughs> I am having so much fun with this little beginner park jet. And in high rate mode, you can fly it in a pretty small area and you can do it pretty slowly. I mean, look at that. I am not flying in a very big area here. You know, my virtual box that I'm flying in. It's pretty small. Oh, sounds like somebody else is coming through. Look at that turn. If you give it a little bit of gas. Look at that. Look at that. That is a tight turn. The wings right there were almost perpendicular to the ground. So, look at that. Yeah, we'll do some more of our close proximity stuff here as soon as this guy goes through. But that is awesome. I, I don't know how, how anybody couldn't have fun with this. Look at that. And I've got it pretty well dialed in, trimmed out on the transmitter. Look at that. Do you see, do you see how slow I made that turn? And, and the gyro was able to keep it in the air. You saw that wing wag? Look at that. 
Look at that turn. That is awesome. And it certainly has enough power to push it through slowly through those turns like that. Cool. That is so cool. Yeah, you guys are gonna you guys are gonna have a blast with this. <laughs> if I'm bringing it in to land in a four mile per hour wind with a little bit of high alpha, I can just about set it down vertically. I mean, the, the, the gyro is that good at keeping, at keeping it in the air at slow speed. Look at that turn. Look how slow that is. That is, that is a really cool little park jet. I could fly this all day long. This is my sixth battery pack this morning. I've put through it and I only have six battery packs. So this is my last one. So if you guys buy this, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you buy the three battery version. Now I have had this in the air with this little 1S 600 milliamp hour LiPo that it uses. I have had it in the air for over 10 minutes on one battery pack. So if you get the three battery pack version, that should give you th at least 30 minutes of flight time. But definitely, definitely get the three battery pack version because it's always, uh, at least in my experience, it's always less expensive to buy the batteries with the plane when you buy the plane than buy the batteries separately later on. Sometimes, you know, the cost of, uh, of those batteries can be double buying them separately than buying them with the product itself. So I always opt for the most batteries that they offer with the product. Look at that. That is, that is so darn cool. And being able to fly this in a really small area is awesome. Look at that turn. Look at that turn. I was almost hovering over my head. There's my timer. Gosh darn it. All right, let me figure out where the wind is coming from now. Got a bit of a crosswind I'm gonna be coming into. All right, let's, let's go downwind here. Partial downwind. I'm gonna turn it back in and see if we can land. Well, look at that. I got wind coming from two different directions. If I climb up a little bit, the wind's coming from the opposite direction. So let's see. Let's see if we can get lined up here. Ah, couldn't get it slowed down that much in a crosswind, but but not bad. Awesome, awesome. Whoops, battery hatch came open. Let me turn off this timer. Oh, it's driving me crazy. Ah, quiet again. All right, so uh, this is an awesome, awesome little beginner park jet, my favorite one so far, and I am just having an absolute blast with it. So, you know, if you guys make your purchase on this, please use our affiliate link because it really, really helps us out to get more products, do reviews of components to test, like for the brushless conversions, and it doesn't cost you anything to do that. And um, I really appreciate it. So thanks for watching. And I will see you in the air.